me what what kind of context is that? Uh, let someone. Me, well, let me get comfy. Someone. Yeah, someone starts watching this, and they hear. Um, hold on. Let me get comfy first. Um, hold on. Let me get comfy. <laughs> Um, yeah, because I, I, yeah, I, I need to get comfy. Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, yeah. Exactly, I need to get comfy first. <laughs> Just say it when you start. Fun, I need to get comfy. Let, let me get comfy first. Let me get comfy first, hon. Let me do that. I need dum, it. Dum. I'm not stopping you, am I? Okay, you no know, stop. Why why you act like I'm stopping you? You're not. Oh, I just then why you act like Oh I'm oh I need my blanket. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I got my blanket. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay. 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 Bitch, just stop repeating so much. Jeez. Now I'm comfy. Hold on, let me get comfy. I'm just gonna put my mic right here. Perfect. Hold on, let me get comfy. Okay, so trial verdict. Trial verdict. Yeah. Right? All right, so yeah. we're going to show what happens when you. That's not oh, well. this. This is not the right save file. <laughs> I picked the wrong save Good file, job, and Kyoko's Thomas. just staring at me, he's like, You fucked up, you picked the wrong one. Good job, Thomas. Yeah, yeah, Rampa. I'm gonna pick up, pick it up from here. The Mastermind's Trap. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's the part. So, mm -hmm. Veggie chose to save me? Yeah, cause I'm a good hubby. But now, it is now it's uh, Veggie killing me. It's pursue and... the lie, right? Yeah. There was a lie hidden within Kyoko's statement just now. A lie? Isn't that right, Kyoko? Mm hmm. You said it. The version of proof is on you. So let's hear it. Where is this lie then? Kyoko is definitely lying. And it must be because there's some other deeper truth she wants to keep hidden. I only have to do like an extra trial sequence. Interesting. I didn't have the key to my room because I gave it to me it to Biakia. There's no doubt about that, right? You are correct. So I couldn't possibly have got it into my room. Then we search Kyoko's room. How else could the key have gotten there then? Someone other than me must have put it there. That's the only explanation. Kyoko herself told me before the trial started that she'd stolen something very important from the headmaster's room. I think I know what I have to present. I just don't know how to go about it. Well, actually, what the, the what, well, actually, yeah, I know it's a key, but how do I pro, how do I do that? Kyoko used Monokuma's secret tool, which grants access to any room in the school. Well, that's it right there. So let's see which I, I think I need to figure out which statement I should print, put it on. The key. Um, no doubt about that. I couldn't have possibly gone to my room. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Welcome to the AU where Veggie is an asshole. No Kyoko could have gone into her room. You said so yourself, didn't you, Kyoko? Monokuma's secret tool? Kyoko stole it from the headmaster's room. It lets you get into any room in the school. Which means he could have used it to get into her own room. Mm -hmm. Then I guess that's it. You're giving up just like that? You admit to killing? No, I'm simply recognizing that I lost. What? 
are you talking about? Like I said, this was a trap and I wasn't able to escape it. So I lost. That's all this means. Huh? Then are you saying you really didn't? Kyoko, you really aren't the killer? Okay, time's up. Huh? I'm sorry to say, but your time's all up. All done, all finished. The class trial's all over. Well, that's, that's ridiculous. Since when is there any... It's because you were late, so the trial started late and time ran out. So then it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. But I guess we already know who the blackened is, don't we? <laughs> so we're gonna get like a unique cutscene for Kyoko, I guess? Yeah. A cutscene that Kyoko dies instead of Makoto. <laughs> Very sad. Why is it sad? Cause Not I, sad. Cause sad. I, cause I don't want honey to die. Yeah, but you chose me to die. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good job, you got it right. Ha <laughs> ha brilliantly right. We got it right? Does that mean Kyoko really is the killer? But something strange is going on here. There's something wrong with this whole class trial. Kyoko! I've prepared an extra special punishment this time. Is everyone ready? Okay then, let's give it everything we got. It's punishment time! The fact you can't talk to her at the end Ding. is sad. Kyoko's guilty! Time for punishment! Wow! It's the same execution, but yeah. Oh, bad it's, ending. it's the same as Makoto's. Yeah, but bad ending. Bad ending version. You'll see why. Still pretty sad though. It is sad. Yeah. Look at my trash compactor! After school lesson. Look how calm she is to the end, by the way. Yeah. yeah Makoto could never. <laughs> Well, she definitely looks a lot more panicked. Also. I mean, look at her face. She's turning all blue. Oh, she's shaking. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, damn, that's she brutal. Actually, she actually dies. Damn. That's how the class trial of Mukurika Saba came to an end. I still had to wonder whether Kyoko was actually innocent or... Regardless, the truth was lost forever. Even for me. I just stopped thinking about it. That was the end of our class trial. And in the end, it would prove to be our last class trial. Once that case was over, there was never a single murder at Hope's Peak ever again. We'd obtained peace in exchange for the lives of all the others. Oh, this is the messed up part. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Peace, but only inside the school. Poor Toko. What the hell is this? Toko died. That's the sad part. She died? How? Who knows? Peace, but only for us. That was the only hope we had. Hope. Hope? This is hope? No, this isn't right. Huh? Makoto, why are you staring off in this space? Don't you have a rebuttal for Kyoko's claim? Her claim? Oh, that's right, I have to. Do I expose Kyoko's lie or not? Oh, okay. Yeah. So you know. But yeah, that was a bad ending. But I'm being like... forced to go. What do I do? A good ending, thankfully. Oh, okay. Well, it's not letting me, uh. It's not letting me open the menu. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, well there was the there was the bad ending. It, it turns out that if you pick the bad ending, you just go straight to you just warp back in time anyways. So. Well, I, you should be glad on them. Yeah. All right, deadly life investig. I am glad about that though. What? I am glad about that though, cause I was, you know, a lot of a lot of games have bad endings. It just kicks you back to the title screen, and just and it rolls the credits and stuff. Okay, let me let me get a quick refresher on what we talked about last time. Well, you can explore every room now. Places to check has been added. Oh yeah, I should probably look at that. Hmm. Uh, the Headmaster's Room, Biolab on the 5th floor, Monokuma door in the data center, and 2nd floor of the dormitory. Probably do dormitory first, because it's like right here. But that's the 2nd floor, Dum Dum? Yeah, this, oh, this right here. We, this has been bugging me the most anyway. The gate's open. I can finally check out the 2nd floor of the dorms, which means I have to do it. Yeah, no shit, you have to do it. What the hell? This is the second floor of the dorms? Bitch, you come on. What, what goofy act going is that? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on? It looks like some ancient Bitch. ruins. Or not, it's Bitch, more like a on. battlefield. Like a bomb blew up in here or something. Bitch, you come on. Get the <laughs> hang of myself. Okay. And there's blood here, and... This looks like Where a- Where is my blood, Dum Dum? There was blood? Look. Right here. No. Oh, okay. This looks like a fucking Call of Duty Black Ops map. <laughs> Veggie, shut the fuck up, no, no, please. <laughs> Not funny, either. <laughs> okay. What is he he? What is he? Cause honey, um, honey got mad at me. I'm not mad. Oh, he good. I opened the door, just a crack, glanced inside, and immediately closed it again. There wasn't even a hint of bathroom, just a big pile of rubble. The bed's completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even really a bed anymore, it's just garbage. Nice, it's garbage. Okay, I'm leaving. Um, on him. Oh, yes, B. Can I cuddle you? Oh, yes, cuddle please. Hey, come. Get on. Uh, I'm scared. Female bathroom. Even a place like this, I can't bring myself to go in. Okay, boys' bathroom it is. Which for some reason has a black sign on it instead of a blue, like usual. It looks normal. Is there nothing to examine? Wow, there's nothing in here. I told you it looks normal. Kinda looks like the bathrooms we have in the malls. Damn, this place looks rusty as hell. This room is filled with lockers. It must have been for the Hope's Peak students who came before us. The class of 4Rs must have used these lockers. Well, let's start from left to right, I guess. There's a metal plate mounted to the locker. I really want to know what's inside, but there's no way. Nice, there's no way inside. I can't imagine any way to get this locker open. I'm not even gonna bother trying. I wonder if I can open this locker. Nope, locked. There's a card reader installed in the door. This must be how you get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card reader to the locker room on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your hee handbook to open these up. So does that mean... Well, let's just give it a try. I took out my handbook and ran across the card reader. And then... Eh! No luck. Maybe only the locker's owner can open it. Which means none of us can do it. Well, you don't have like a master e-handbook or something? I wonder if I can open this locker. Nope. Oh, okay. Same thing. Eh. Baby, come on. <laughs> There's a metal plate now into the locker. There's no way to get it you know open. what's- what's freaky? What? The fact this whole- this whole mess was behind damn gate. And you were in this school for so damn long, and this thing was rotting, nearly yeah. beside you. Yeah, it's definitely a uh, definitely spooky mystery. 
Um, I'm just gonna double check these lockers. Okay, same thing. And eh. there's like a big metal plate here. And then these, I guess. Okay, so there's nothing in here. There's a whole lot of nothing in these places. Oh, oh. what do you expect? Ooh, ooh, look at this blue gradient. Fancy. And, uh, wow, this room actually looks kind of nice. This room doesn't really feel like a student's room. It's more like adult atmosphere. It's the headmaster's private room. Oh, hey, Kyoko, when did you get here? I came here to hug you and I'll tell you you're the best hugging, yeah? Hey, thank you. Right, hon? Mm-hmm. Whoa. I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one more regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. Hmm, a regret? Hmm. Kyoko looks almost meek right now. She must be thinking about something. Probably shouldn't bother her. Okay, I will bother the computer then. There's a PC on the desk. I must have belonged to the headmaster. Whoever used this last, it looks like they, very, they were very interested in the ultimate list pair. But they, they still have some search results left on it. Well, that's what you get when you don't clear your search history. Then we might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair. There's not much though, nothing we don't already know. The ultimate despair isn't one individual, but it instead points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy which happened one year ago. Ooh. They're the worst sorts of people whose driving force comes from despair. And that's all there is? Not, not much to it, is there? But I guess that's the best you could do as a complete group, apparently. Mm, any information of the mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate whatever info we get our hands on. I see. That's a good outlook to have. <laughs> it's just five alien looking guys. That's you. Veggies is one of them. I'm an alien. A leather, Ew, a leather chair. Gross. Not, I'm, 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 not, I'm not an alien. Why I'm, am I prodding an alien? I'm, I'm, no. an, I'm, I'm an onion, not an alien. No. <laughs> a leather chair. Gross, gross, gross. I can't imagine a student using something like this. Must have been the headmaster's. Yeah, because no way a student gets that something comfy. Exactly. There's a hidden door After here. Ah, there's a strange gap in the wall. Some kind of design mistake or construction defect or something. There's a gap here, but not just any normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. A breeze? There's likely an open space on the other side of this wall. Open space? Does that mean... You mean like a hidden room? I think I know- I might know how to open it. You know how to open it? Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? A very easy trick, yes. So easy, I'm not sure you can even pull it out a trick. I saw a program on that PC that I, I think controls it. <laughs> Alexa, open my hidden room. Even the right password on the door should open on right now. But I don't have a clue what that password might be. All we know is it's probably made up for letters and or numbers. So can we really go from there? Um super despair exclamation mark uh four hundred fifty one. Why four hundred fifty one? I I don't know. Daisy was trying to think Did of you, numbers. What is four hundred fifty one supposed to mean? And nothing, it's just you know a secret number. You're right, that's not nearly enough to go on. Veggie, you could pull what secret number is 451. Honey, I don't know, I'm just making shit up. Dum dum, Veggie says 451 secret number. Mm hmm. Good, and how, how do you know? Veggie, the expert? 
Um, oops, turn that on. Reggie! What? You skipped my dialogue, you mean. <laughs> Oopsie. Meanie, you meanie, it always happens. Miss oh, Always. Not Miss Quick, Reggie keeps ignoring me. So mean. Oh, I love you, don't I'm worry. A no, you don't love me. You skipped my dialogue. It was an action, mm. BB. Very love you. Okay, proof? Mwah, mwah. Mwah, Thank you. Love you too. Yay. Alex wrote all of his paperwork and all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had to add you, sorry to, but nothing that might have been in his passport. I think of how much time I wasted on this. Oh, jeez. So there's a hidden room she couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue waiting in there. But maybe for her, there's more to it than that. Anyways, if we want to get in there, we need to figure out the password. And if Kyoho can't figure it out, there's no way, no way do I if I stand a chance. No wait, there might be a chance. The password could be something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of, or something she didn't want to think of. For example, what about your name? Huh? Oh sorry, I was just trying to think of what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't tried mm -hmm. it, I mean it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password. Knowing how she is, I bet the idea never even occurred to her. You mind if I try it just to be sure? Hmm. It's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name. But if that's not it, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. I think it will save her. Like, if, if he wouldn't use her name as Papu, that's even better than him using. That's pretty creepy if he did. Yeah, kind of weird. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. I collected myself and turned to face the computer monitor. Let me just type the password here. I typed in her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense, slightly trembling, and as I finished typing it in... Beep. Oh, it was her name. What? That did it? Kyoko, it worked! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Kyoko? Mm -hmm. oh, without looking at me, she just disappeared into the hidden room. She looked grim. Ah, Kyoko. Why are you surprised? I would have the same reaction as her. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see something on the wall over there. Not the wall, it's on the counter. On the counter. Bookshelf. Hey, Kyoko? Ah, uh, I may as well not even been in the room. Her gaze is fixed only on one thing. A present? Wrapped and covered with such joy. That's what made it so unusual. Okay, sure, I guess we'll look at the present then. There's a brightly colored box here. It seems totally out of place in here. Yeah, considering how industrial this place looks, like look at all the pipes and shit. The more I look at it, the more sus I get. Should we open it? Getting kind of a bad vibe from it. It's just gonna be some bomb inside. I mean, we can't not open it. Okay. Be careful, Makoto. Why, you think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. But surprisingly, probably. Huh? If it is what I think it is, at the very least, it's not something you'll be happy to see. Wait, so you know what's in there? Just don't scream or anything, okay? Uh, are you saying it's something that'll make me want to scream? Okay, I'm just gonna open it. Step by every step, I approached the box. I took a deep breath and took off the lid. Slowly, ever so slowly, I lifted it up. Light began to sneak its way into the box. 
I stole a heaven and glance and... Ah! Kyoko's advice was no use. I let out a trembling cry. There's a skull inside! Hey, I no, Oh my goodness, veggies, a skull emoji! Skull emoji skull in the emoji box! Skull emoji reference! <laughs> Honey, that's the best ever present, I won't lie. <laughs> skull emoji present? Yeah, veggie, go get me a skull emoji. <laughs> Gee, let me! It's Mr. Skull, how's it going? It was bones. Human bones. Oh my goodness. It's the bone zone. Oh my zone. goodness, not the, not the human bones, terrible. It was the last thing I expected to see in such a bright, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? Just as I thought. What? You thought what? How could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there. Human bones. Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. You know, actually, I wasn't too far off on what was in there. <laughs> I actually thought there was a chopped off head inside, so... <laughs> I don't know, I thought there was like... Oh, I, I thought there was gonna be like a liver or something in there. <laughs> Why a liver? Chopped off head is bad. Or I don't know, like a human heart or something. Why heart? That's so specific. I don't know, like some Actually, like no. some some like organ or something. Why org? I don't know. Actually, I maybe I chopped off head. It wasn't that part. <laughs> yeah, that's not very far either. Yeah, we were close. I just had a feeling it would be his body. It's pretty much the same thing. A dead guy in a box. My father. Huh? What about him? Like you found in the box. Those bones. That body. That's my father. Or at least what's left of him. Are you serious? This is Kyoko's dad? He's a skull emoji? No way. <laughs> the same man she's I'm been searching for? Oh, sorry, but that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, how can you know that for sure? How do you know that's him? I mean, think logically. Why else? Who else would it be in his own dumb room? Fair enough. Given all the information we have already, that's the only possible answer. Well, I mean, Alter Ego wasn't wrong about that. Alter Ego said that the headmaster was probably here in the school. But the only ones who were alive right at the start of the killing game were all 16 students. And Tammy Yamanakuma is not living, so that rules him Oh no, out. he's not alive. He's just a when robot. You, when you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume. But most likely, my father was in the school, but he was also dead. That's my assumption anyway. Hmm, as Kiriko explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Or, um, no, she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. She said it just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But I have to believe that at some point she wanted to be proven wrong. Which is why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances. I know Kyoko said she wanted to see her father, so she could have cut off all ties. But was yeah, that all there the was point. to it? Would she really give up her pride just for that? I couldn't help but wonder. Nice, you got skull emoji as your evidence. The skull emoji present. Skull emoji present. Huh? This picture. It's all faded. Must be pretty old. Wait, is this a picture of... Hey, Kyoko. Ah. Oh, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free of the past. And yet... To 
to now find something like this. Like a small cow cow now. Yeah. So what do you expect me to do now? Ah, I thought I was right. This picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all this time, he must have really cared about her. But I'm confused. Why did he... If he th actually cared for her, then why the hell did she run away? That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, that's very weird. I mean... Uh, theoretically, maybe he, he had no choice. Because the, the whole speak used to be a normal school, but then became messed up. And then he obviously got stuck inside the school, and then he got murdered somehow. So he had no chance to sleep. Mm, that's possible. Why? What? I wanted to face him and tell him myself to cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. And now he's abandoned me again. And this time he even stole the only opportunity I had to move on. Has there ever been a worse father? Kyoko. Mm, what about this table? The headmaster's desk. It's probably hiding some kind of clue, so I really want to check it out, but... I really don't want to touch Kyoko's dad's desk without her permission. Don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. Well, at least Mikado is respectful. Are you sure? Never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I know. Okay then, if you don't mind. But I'm so confused, why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't you, like, investigate the room anyway? Starting from the top, I opened all the desk drawers and looked inside. Wouldn't it be easier to start from the bottom? Okay, whatever. No, top. I rushed through each one, finding nothing but Thomas, unrelated documents. What? You start from the bottom. Are you stupid? Mm, I don't know, honey. Yes, you're stupid. In the last drawer... Huh, is this in case of emergency? It's an in case of emergency hand e handbook, right? And it has a label on it that says in case of emergency. Oh, she <laughs> shut up! Jeez! <laughs> you said it like five times. I get it. I, I, What's so funny about it? I don't know. And why are you stuttering? I, I, I. <laughs> I found dumb, some dumb, kind of in dumb. case of emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. Edgy, <laughs> please. Stop. <laughs> am I annoying, am I annoying you? So no. <laughs> you never annoying me, but Cookie please. I'm, I'm too patient. It sounds like honey is Unfortunate. enjoying it. No, I hate you. Oh, pap, pap. I despise you, especially for the... Hmm, what? I love you. I love you too. I am loving with no limitations, giving you the school's ultimate authority now, headmaster. Holy shit, I was just talking about how if there's a master handbook, and it turns out there is one. When did you say that? I said, well, like, oh, I guess we're gonna. I, I said as a joke, like, oh, I guess we need, like, a, a master e handbook or something. Okay, but when did you say that? Uh, while we were looking at those lockers. Oh, okay, I forgot. Mm. I'm assuming that's what it is, what that is. I think you're probably right. It might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? Well, I'm glad I came here first then. Huh? But Kyoko? I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. I guess I'll take it. Is it really okay? Listen, Makoto. Huh? Can I ask you a favor? A favor? What is it? I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this. And I know it'll only inconvenience you that much more, but... Could you leave? Huh? 
Just for a little while, I'll just like to be alone for a bit. No, I totally get that. Kyoko. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need to calm down a little. I need to get my emotions in order. Mm, you know, Kyoko, you told me before about the relationship you had with your dad. How you're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But... Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you were going to say? If so, it's just a theory. And that isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. That picture doesn't change the facts of what happened, what I went through. That problem can be solved so easily. Mm, you're right, I'm sorry. Once I've got my soul under control, I return to the investigation immediately. So please just give me some time to myself. Okay, I understand. Then I'll see you later. Mm. Well, I didn't really finish examining this room, did I? Is she really okay? Yes, you did, dum dum. It must have been a complete shock to her. What else? You found I investigate the pipes? The floor? Yeah, the walls? Yeah. I mean, it was a shock to me. Wait, wait, yeah. To find out about the skull emoji in the present. It's <laughs> cool, <Skull emoji. laughs> There's no doubt the mastermind performed that evil deed. They killed the headmaster, killed Kyoko's father, and turned him into a skull emoji. The headmaster's dead. But gee, is that gonna be the title? Yeah. The sc sc skull, skull emoji present? Skull emoji present. <laughs> yeah, that's want, a perfect title. You wanna write that down for me? Um, mm, sure. Yeah, thank you, hon. What, where should I write it though? Mm, either in my notes, or in DM, or on Insta, wherever is fine. Where is it though? My notes? Where is the notes? Uh, it'll, yeah. be, it'll be in my, in my little server, and there's just a channel called Notes. Oh, okay, sorry, I found it. Thank you, hon. But we were Wait, wrong you, about why this. are you cooking someone? You okay? You okay? I cooked? <laughs> You, you suck at cooking. Aw, oh, thank you, hon. The, he the like headmaster wasn't the mastermind. Something. Okay, I'm gonna cook, honey, um, some bulldog with, um, <gasps> with some, oh my with some, uh, I won. with some pocky for dessert with monster energy. Very yummy. Aww. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're the best happy I could ever ask for. Yay. And when will I get that? Mm, uh, as soon as possible. Oh, uh, when's that? Mm, I mean, I'd love to come over and make you some. Then do it. Okay, pumpkin. Which means the mastermind's true identity is... It's Monokuma! Damn it, I knew it! Oh no. Benji. What? Benji. <laughs> What's so funny, hon? Your dream? Oh, my dream? <laughs> What's so funny about it? <laughs> okay, I know there's something funny. About a ship being flooded and you being with me on there, but the last line how you were with your dad and your brother, ooh, mm. <laughs> walking down <laughs> the city, Veggie, mm. you were with your boyfriend. Oh my goodness, no, honey, shush, <laughs> if you were, oh, and of course. That makes sense why you didn't tell me the dream. Because Veggie was with his boyfriend in dream. No, wow. No, hon, I'm not. And he was dying in the boat with me. With his partner. I wanna, with I wanna, I wanna be in the boat with honey. Dum dum, it was flooding. You were dying with me. How is that nice? That's not nice. I wanna, you know, be on top of a ship with you. And we can get the city. Tell me, what is, what is that supposed to mean? I don't know. I just, I, I just want a romance oh. moment. Romance moment? Yeah. 
Okay, what well, well, must well, well, What's happy one? Being on a ship. Like a cruise. I hate ships. Okay, how about, um... Uh, a cruise, maybe. I'll I maybe I'll agree on a cruise. Okay. But, you know, I have motion sickness. Okay, so I'll hold uh, you then. Sweetheart, please. Holding me won't help much. Oh, okay. You, you'd, you'd have to hold me against your chest or something and keep stiff so I will actually don't feel sick. Okay, I'll Is that, that possible though? But you know... Uh -huh. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Will you? Yep. Will you? Of course. Oh, okay, thank you, Vegemol. You're welcome. But yeah, you know what's annoying? Sorry, I'm interrupting. Mm, what? Um... You know motion sickness? Usually it tends to go away when you're growing up. It still hasn't left me. And it's even worse. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'd argue that I didn't have motion sickness when I was young. And I'd argue that I have it now. Do you? Yeah, because I can't stand sitting in a car. I just feel like puking whenever I'm in a car. Wait, what? Yeah. Why are you standing inside of a car? No, no, that's not what I meant. Like, whenever I... What do wh I mean? Whenever I, like, sit in the car and it's, like, too hot, and I, like, am in there for, like, more than, like, ten minutes, I just feel like puking. Veggie, that's... that's... Um, uh... Air condition problem, not motion sickness. Yeah, but also, um, whenever I'm driving a car, I just need fresh air. Like, I don't like it when the windows are closed. Well, Veggie, then that's problem with air conditioning, not that, that motion sickness. Okay. And since when did you do you drive a car? Do you have a driver's license? No, I, I was in a taxi a few times, but the taxi drivers like had the windows closed and the AC was bad. So I just felt like oh. claustrophobic in there. Oh, so you're claustrophobic? No, not really, but like I just felt like I was running out of air. Veggie does claustrophobia though. Okay, then that, yeah. So you are then? Are you scared of small spaces? No, it's more like I'm afraid of running out of air. Well, Dom Dom, that's the same thing, you know that? Okay, if you say so. You, sweetheart. Oh. People who are... Oh, wait, me, me. I'm listening. Okay, I'm sorry. People who have claustrophobia is basic, are basically people who can't be in small spaces because they fear they'll run out of air. Uh -huh. That's why those people can't go into mines, dig stuff, because dig, being a miner is one of the hard, hardest jobs in the world because of how claustrophobic it is. Uh -huh. You're literally in a small like tunnel and yeah, it's, not, it's barely for anyone. Oh, That's I why see. they get paid a lot because of how risky the job is. Because you can't get stuck and you will never get out. But that, now I'm being creepy and I don't want that. Oh no. Uh, so you're saying you're claustrophobic? I guess I am. There's nothing wrong with that. I get you. Okay. I. Uh, it's okay. Okay. Alright, because I don't uh, feel I don't feel that way on the bus. The bus I feel completely fine, but in a car, I feel all cramped and stuff. Well, what if, what if I'm gonna pick you up in a car, and you're gonna be beside me? Are you gonna feel safe? Um, and well, because we we it, have good AC. Well, good AC and maybe have the window open for me, and then I all feel fine. Well, would you? Uh, my parents hate having the windows open. What's the problem? Well, shit. Unless you tell them. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, yeah, I could tell them. It's like, yeah, I was on the plane for over 10 hours, so I need some fresh air. <laughs> I, I need air. No, don't say I need air. <laughs> <laughs> I need air. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say it like that. Say it nicely. 
Okay. Like, I was on that plane very long. I need some fresh air more. Yes, hon. And and they don't understand, probably. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, hopefully. I hope they understand. Well, I, at least then I will fight for you because I'm worried yeah. about you. Because I don't want you, because we're gonna drive for five hours, you know that? Well, it won't be as bad as the 20 hour drive I had from BC to Alberta. Um, but in hindsight, you're gonna fly a long time. True. So, w which one is worth? It'll probably be about the same amount of time then. No. Okay. I don't think so. Fifteen Wait. of us met in the main hall, or the mail hall. Mail hall? Is it supposed Did to say? You come on. Is it supposed to say that? Add Mukuru to the mix, and you get sixteen. And including me, only six of us are still alive. Right now, it's dead. Oh. Wow. Thanks for the reminder, game. Yeah. Even Mukuro. Even she's undeniably dead. Thanks for the reminder of all the death scenes. So the ones that are still alive I are- I still think Junko's was the worst one. I still think it was the most graphically the worst one. It looks very graphic, yeah. Me! Veggie! Veggie was your favorite- It was your favorite <laughs> picture. A veggie emote on black background. <laughs> oh my god, and now we get one for Byakia too. Yeah, Byakia. there's gonna be me. And Crackhead Man. And Ge Genocide Jack. And Donut Lady. And my wife. And me! Oh yeah. yay! <laughs> Veggie's just true. <laughs> <laughs> Only those six people are still alive. And there's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. I refuse to believe it. There has to be some other way. There just has to be. Well, technically, does that doesn't that mean there's seven people alive because of the mastermind? Yes. Okay, turns seven. out there is nothing. Yeah, seven. So nine people died then. All right. Anyways. I mean, you kind of count. Yeah, Veggie you can count. I went. I, okay, I, I, then how much? How much is that then? How many people? Nine people died. Plus seven. Yeah, nine plus seven is oh. sixteen. Wow! Oh my goodness, genius! Oh wait, wrong thing. I wonder if I can open this locker. Yep. 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 Wait, but, what about that emergency handbook I found in the headmaster's hidden room? Let's give this one more try. Oh, you're gonna make me click on it again? No. Yeah. Alright, you just what I was hoping for. Now let's see what we got inside. This locker is completely disorganized. What do you mean disorganized? That looks pretty clean. Whoever it belongs to probably has organization problems in every part of their life. What the hell? No, it doesn't. This is a crystal ball. Likeness. I think I know who this belongs to. A crystal ball? No, I can't be. There's no way he ever used this locker. It's just not possible. Oh, is this all the stuff that got confiscated? Probably. There's all kinds of textbooks and notebooks stacked up in no particular order. And dust everywhere. I have to assume whoever stuffed this is didn't do a, didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I can really talk. Trying that casual and natural as possible, and being on a black background. I picked up one of the notebooks I saw, but by the moment I looked inside the handbook, any sense of easiness I may have had evaporated. What? There is no denying what I saw. Yasuhiro? Hmm, well, we know who that is. Isn't this our Yasuhiro? The notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes. Which would mean... He attended classes here? No, that can't be possible. I mean, Hiro came to the school at the same time as the rest of us. And we were all sucked into this evil world. 
we never had the chance to take any classes. So what is this notebook? I can't look at the bottom, I guess. Hey, wait, there's another thing over here. This is a deck of playing cards? No, they're tarot cards. But wait, aren't those used for telling fortunes? It's just a coincidence, right? Hmm. Okay, you got that go. I checked the other one. Check the other lockers. I don't see anything inside. Okay. There's a card? What is that? It's just one thing, some kind of pocketbook. I don't see a name written on it, so I can't say for who for sure whose it is. But there's some writing inside. Couldn't be important. I don't like violating the owner's privacy, but I better take a look. Looks like a girl's handwriting. And all the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote them was measuring them. Whoever wrote oh, this must have been really meticulous. Huh? I was looking through the pocketbook, but my hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written here. Words I'd heard before. <gasps> oh my god! There's a plan to turn Host Peak into a shelter and isolate the students here in a communal life. I decided to talk to the one who I came up with the plan directly. This so happens to be the headmaster and my father. He was willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. It's what he said. The point is to keep our students pro prodigies are safe, so just keep them as our hope for the future. Only their genius can overcome disaster and only their hope can overcome despair. For the future of our country, our world, it's not an exaggeration to call this our final hope. We must isolate our superior yells from the corrupted world to serve as the foundation for a new era. This is the only hope we have. I hope that you'll be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. Yeah, this can't be true, can it? Wait, but... so she actually did talk to him before getting brainwashed? Hmm. I don't know, actually. That would make sense. I knew it was, and I knew exactly who the pocketbook belonged to. Kyoko. Couldn't be anyone else. But if this belongs to Kyoko, what was it doing in this locker? And what she wrote here completely contradicts what she already told me. She says she hasn't seen her dad since he left when she was little. Yeah, but because she lost her memory, how could she remember? Did you read that? Oh. What does this all mean? I couldn't really scan the remaining pages of the notebook. I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong with this whole thing. But when I reached the last page, the question marks spinning through my head. It just started spinning that much faster. Uh? When I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writing here was messy. Disorganized. Scrawled. This bear walks among us and something and we something. I'm yeah, I don't know what to say. That. It, it auto-skipped. What is this? What does it mean? I have no idea. How could this possibly make any sense? Oh, uh, and so we survived. Uh, Veggie, go back to Truthfulness. I can look at it again. Oh. Oh, here we go. There is a second despair. Second despair, okay. But the more I see, the less sense it makes. Because these lockers, I mean, they had to belong to previous students, right? So why am I seeing this? Why are there things in the lockers that look like they belong to people here? A notebook that looks seems like it belongs to Hiro, and a pocketbook that looks like it belongs to Kyoko. 
Hmm, there has to be some kind of explanation. But if we want to find that out, I have to keep moving my investigation forward. I have to believe in everyone. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. I think, is that is that the only two things I in here? This one, I think. This one? No. No, this one. The final one? No, the beside the metal gate. This one. No. What? This one? This one, yeah. I already looked at it. It just does that. Oh, okay. I think that's all of them. Yeah, okay. Well, he would have said, like, I should look around more. I know. Okay. I think that's everything. Because there wasn't really anything in here, right? Nope. So I think we're done here. Okay, let's see. Where should we go next? Um, Headmaster's room? Well, let's do some fast travel. The rest of the stuff will be on, like, the fourth floor. Meow, meow. Yeah, the Monokuma room. Hi, ah, Makoto. Are you here to look around, too? Is that what you're doing here? Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma door. So I figured... If all the doors in school have been unlocked, that one should be open too, right? Oh no, I'm gonna break myself to open this. But they might explode, right? And that really sucked, so you open it. Hmm, sure she did me, but she made it sound like she was okay with me getting blown up. I don't know, but I wanna know what's behind the Monokuma door. Okay, I guess I'll open it. Uh, wait, let me take home first. I don't want to get it exploded. You can't race over to a nearby desk and hit underneath it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, everything will be okay, right? Alright, here goes nothing. I threw all my way into it, but the door opened much easier than I expected. Click. What the hell is this? There's no explosion, thankfully. My first impression was... Wow, this place is totally sci-fi. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. No, Fred, you was... What the hell is this? Veggie, what kind of goofy reaction is that? <laughs> yeah, it's just Veggie reaction, uh, you know, 101. There's some mm -hmm. kind of hatch on the floor. But right now, I'm more concerned that, about that weird device. Yeah, let's have a look at it. What is this device? Looks like some kind of control panel. It's really over the top though, like some kind of military installation or something. Yeah, it looks like a cockpit, right? If for me, it's probably freak out if you saw it. Cockpit? So the Monokuma room has a control panel, it looks like some kind of cockpit. Then that could mean... Alright, let's start poking at it or whatever, I'm gonna start pushing buttons. Sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, you can't just order whatever something like this. But it was too late. He was already jabbing away at the control panel. Huh? Did you hear that? Wow. Yeah, I think it came from the other room. You know, what did you push? I'm not totally sure, but... I think it was that one. The bus that says data center. Data center? I took a good look at the control panel, and I saw a bunch of buttons, each with the name of the room next to it. And just like Hina said, there was one labeled data center. That must be the one she pushed. But the data center? That's right next door. The room we were just in, that's where that strange noise came from. I probably better go check it out. Yeah, please, I'm kinda of scared out of my mind right now. So I'll just cheer on from here, over here. 
Wait a minute, I think I know what's happening here. Well, obviously. Monokuma's in your ain't he? Yep. Did I just hear what I think I heard? Hey, bitch! Is that Monokuma? Hey! Ah! Uh, give me all your donuts! Is that you, Hina? What? Oh, that's, oh, I guess that's you now. Bastard. How did you know? Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera kind of set up? No, you know what you're controlling? Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from in here. Ah, uh, guess what I found? A self-destruct button. Whatever you do, don't push it. Oh man. Were you seriously gonna push it? Anyway, I guess that settles it. This room with the Monokuma drawing on it and the control panel inside. Anyways, I guess that settles it. Wait, oh, okay. Should I go back in the Monokuma room? Yeah. Holy shit, you just found the Monokuma cheat codes. Wow, hey Makado, what the heck was that just now? Monokuma. Huh? What do you mean? What you were controlling just now. It was Monokuma. Monokuma? Wait, for real? Yep, looks like that panel definitely controls Monokuma. Which means the Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, they are definitely in here. The Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. And this control room is totally separate from the data center area with all the monitors. In other words... Kyoko's theory was right. Why well, the Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from here? That means they've been inside the school this whole time, right? <laughs> Sounds like the Mastermind has like only been in these two rooms. This room and the data center. Guess that would have to be true. Wait, wait, you- but the data center is the same- it's connected to this room, so theoretically speaking, it's the same room. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they've only been- they've only been at that, like, control panel, and they've only been looking at the cameras. They've just been, like, stuck in here this whole time, probably. I mean, theoretically. Yeah, but if that is true... In the Mastermind, Monokuma's puppeteer really is the 16th student? No, it can't be. There's no way, right? Well, that kind of that kind of brings up a contradiction in my head. Why? How if if we started out with like, you know, all the students and someone was controlling Monokuma, then how could Monokuma have been there and also have all the students be there? What do you mean? Well, because we already know that um. Mukuro Ikusaba, um, we already know, like, she was, she is in the mastermind, so... Man, she loves... What? We started with 15 people. The headmaster was 16. Why don't you understand? Wait, the headmaster was controlling Monokuma? Well, we literally debunked that, that, that the headmaster is controlling Monokuma. Just now. Yeah, that's what I meant. So what, you mean? what I mean is like when all of the students were there, who was controlling Monokuma at the start? The headmaster. But he's dead. Oh, I meant mastermind. Yeah. <laughs> My mastermind controls Monokuma. Hmm. Just gotta figure out who the mastermind is. What so... the that was the point of chapter six <laughs> then? <laughs> That's the point. Also, he started with. 15 people, so the mastermind is the 16. Another thing, the mas the headmaster was dead a long time ago. Yeah. Theoretically, 
if you want to be precise, probably around the time that big tragic event happened, aka one year ago. Oh yeah, so I also have another theory. What? I think Mukuro Ikusaba was disguising herself as someone else. Oh, that's a good take. I like it. Yeah, and that might be uh, that might be how um, the mastermind got away with uh, controlling Monokuma from behind the scenes. Okay, but wouldn't that make Moku linked with the mastermind? Um, I suppose so. But she was with us then, by your logic. Hmm, guess we'll have to figure that part out. Mom, <laughs> you can ask me, I'm here. Hmm? Well, wait. What's wrong, Mecca? I don't like that face you're face making. I don't know, it's nothing. Oh, okay. Sad. Oh. What about you? Is everything okay? Oh, well, it's just. This is where the mastermind be hiding, right? Who knows if they set up traps or something? <laughs> Controlling Monokuma sounds like fun. Can't say it isn't possible. But I really hope it's not true. So, like... You want to leave soon? There's still lots of other places to check out. Yeah, good point. We can't waste all our time staying around here. Okay, you want to get going? Yeah. Um... On the mother hatch. Let me just still check this. What about this. the hatch? Okay, let's see. look at that now. Uh, it's not letting me examine it. I know. <laughs> okay, same same thing. Same song and dance. Click! As soon as the door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Oh, the door is just locked on its own. What? My hand shot out to grab the doorknob. You're right, it's locked, but why? Of course it's locked, because the data center is now restricted! Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Monokuma? Yeah, the ma the mastermind was like, Oh, well, I guess now they're done in there, so I'm gonna go back to controlling Monokuma, lol, lol, lol. Hey, no fair, you can't just go around restricting whatever you feel like. It's for your benefit! Because if that room stays open, I won't be able to move around. Imagine how depressed everyone would get if the school mascot just upped and stopped moving. In that room... As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are. Right now, you're being vaporized by someone in that room? Correct, Amundo! That doesn't make any sense. We were just in there, and we didn't see anyone. Oh, that's what the hatch is for, isn't it? Oh, dumbass. Everyone could have guessed. Oh, you didn't, did you? <laughs> Are you sure you were as thorough as you could have been? Did you happen to check a certain suspicious hatch? No way. The hatch on the floor that I wanted to examine, but it didn't let me? <laughs> Too bad. That was your one big chance, and you blew it! Of course, that catch can't be opened from the outside anyways, so whatever. Now then, this room's officially restricted, so no more investigating! I'll be relying on you guys to tell the others. <laughs> Peace. Wow. He's gone, but... Was he telling the truth? The mastermind was hiding in there? In fact, if you think back to when we got locked out of the control room, that proves it for sure. Then, when I said we should leave... Well, that hatch couldn't be opened from the outside anyway, right? So it's not your fault. Okay. So I guess the mastermind was just waiting for us to leave. Well, obviously, dumbass. They Anyways. could have heard us. Anyways, we don't have to let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most of the time we have left. You're right. 
There's one thing I'm good at, it's keeping my body moving. Okay, I'm gonna go run around and tell everyone what we found here. Nice, you've got me all motivated again. Okay, I'm out. See ya later. Yeah, I took off at a full sprint. And I have to do what I can too. That's the only way forward. Okay, well, let's also go check out the headmaster's room, which I think was down here. So this will be brand new. Ooh, fancy. Look at this. This is the headmaster's room. I heard an awful lot about it, but this will be my first time seeing it for myself. Oh, Makoto, it's you. Oh, Byakuya. Well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? What do you mean, something interesting? Take a look at this. It was on top of the pathetically obstinacious desk. Class 78, student registry. It contains profiles of all of us, and Mukuro. Apparently, Class 78 refers to us. Wait, when we found Mukuro's profile in Kyoko's room... That's right, it also mentioned the Class 78. This must be where Kyoko got that page. And you know what is confusing? Sorry. What? Why Why was the, the paper both in English and Japanese? I just noticed that. That's, mm. that's confusing. <laughs> I can't tell if that's like a localization goof or what. I have no idea, but it's so goofy. <laughs> like, like, imagine Veggie and me. Veggie, free stuff. Oh, right, I understand that later. Oh, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I understand, but Veggie doesn't. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And since the rest of our profiles are listed in there with all, along with hers, there can be no doubt about it. Mukro was a student here at Hope's Peak Academy, just like the rest of us. Well, no shit she was. She was the 16th student. Jeez, why are you guys so surprised? That must be how Kyoko learned about it. Actually, it... no, she's the 15th student. Uh -huh. Yeah. But it seems that Kyoko was in a hurry. Huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. Look. Yeah, I see it now. That is kind of weird. The uneven it's tearing. It's not like you can read anyway. It's blurry, but like, yeah. What? The way the paper had been crumpled, she must have been in a hurry. Well, since she snuck to get in, I'm sure she wanted to get out as fast as possible. What's your point? She was in so much of a hurry that she'd only gotten the first page. The first page? Correct, Mukuro's profile actually contains two pages. What? In other words, when it comes to this profile, there is more information about Mukuro that we still didn't have. What kind of information is it? Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? It seems to be some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. <laughs> Well, hey, good for you, honey. You don't have to. You don't have to strain your voice very much now. <laughs> what do you mean you strain your voice very much? Well, you won't have to be reading dialogue for a bit because it's just me and Byakuya. Well, yeah, I know. I'm happy. Yeah, so like Kiri gets to rest. I'm just listening. Yeah. I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left us such an interesting clue. I was half listening, Byakuya, as I skimmed through the report. I was only half listening because I didn't care about half of what he said. Oh, nice! You get a little portrait of her. Oh, look! It's her, her picture. Yay. No, I have to read. Edgy liar. Oh liar, fuck! Liar. Why me? Oh fuck! <laughs> I feel bad for Honey having to read so much. <laughs> yeah, because I had to read the whole Kyoko dialogue. I had to read the locker stuff. I also had to read the Hina dialogue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe Oh yeah, exactly. Honey has to read so much. Yeah, I'm like crying now. Poor B. My voice hap, hap. is gone. Poof. Hmm. No poof. I want Honey's voice to stay. Well, then make it stay, dum dum. Yeah, more. Well, okay. Uh, Mooku re reappears suddenly, and in the background, an infinity floats 
close but just one uh, out of reach. The eternity known as the ultimate despair. <laughs> also, I like how on the, the left of that you can see Hina's profile. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever it is, Mukuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. She looks pretty though. It's a shame we didn't get to meet her properly. She is very pretty. God, she is though. I have a bad feeling about all this, so I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. And I need to pay attention to Mukuro's behavior too. This this is just my best feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fen Fenrir, when she enters House Week, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. That fact alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. Naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students as well. But if I decide she's a danger to the other students, I will be forced to take all reasonable measures. Luka Which was a part of ultimate did. despair. Wow. What do you mean, wow? <laughs> Why are you surprised? She was, uh, wait, what did I say again? Well, they said that they have to take um, like some kind of measurable like actions, which I said, which they did. Yeah, it seems like it. Because if they didn't, she would be probably alive by now, or not. Oh, I see. And you would probably miss her, but oh well. I don't think there can be any doubt about it now. But wouldn't that mean that Mukuro and the Mastermind were allies? So well, but why? That's, that, that, that was your theory. Why that would... they were like... Oh, well there goes Veggie's theory, debunked. Why would they kill Mukuro? Plus even the heads, Headmaster seemed to be afraid of what she was capable of. They would have had to take her completely by surprise to kill her like that. What do you mean, debunked? What did that confirm? It was a question. Oh, I, okay, never mind, not debunked. Oh, good job, Dum Dum. Or maybe it means the Mastermind is even stronger than Mukuro was. What's wrong, Makoto? Hmm. Huh? You seem to be lost in thought, but I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within that file you should note. What is it? Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl you've perhaps never seen before? Oh, nice, you get a closer look at her. A girl who seems to be included as part of our class, number 78. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. And further information about that girl is included in the file. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds, and even lists her vi vitals, 31, 22, 32. What are, what are vitals? I, I, I don't know what vitals like, are. <laughs> wait, wait, body shape? Maybe, I guess that is. Maybe. Like waist and... Chest area and hips. Uh, potentially. Well, oh, yeah. well, what do you think? What do I think? Are you asking me, like, if she has a nice body? You hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse and maybe you'll think, oh, could that mean? Wait, is he trying to say. There's a chance the body isn't actually Mukuro? Is that what he's trying? Is that what he's saying? No. Personally, it is per personally, what I'm thinking seems all impossible, but it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? That's all I was trying to say. What you do with that information's your business. So I'm back to being Viaka's errand boy. Great. Well, I got her profile. Oh, and one last thing. I have, it's a bit of advice for me to use, so I suggest you pay attention. Advice for me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite well. It's not that we're getting along, she's just done a lot to help me. Well, don't too put, put too much faith in her. Huh? The cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? Just what I think. Call it a hunch. A hunch? 
But my hunters tend to be food and right. The advice is for free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. I'll keep it in mind, thanks. Ain't there, like, more to examine here? There's, like, papers on the floor. Thing? There are documents scattered all over the floor. Somehow makes you feel anxious. Even in the headmaster's room, there's a monitor. There are trophies and even a shield in the display case. Hang on a minute. Are those real people up there? <laughs> Yes. Probably the devs or something. No, not the devs, dum dum. Okay. The bookshelf seems really well made. It's filled with files and thick books. Uh, well, there's the desk itself. Go. Class 78 student registry. Apparently, that's us. It has profiles on me and everyone I met at the beginning. And Mukuro. Just like us, Mukuro is apparently a new student here who hopes peak. Hmm, Mukuro Ikasaba, part of the ultimate despair. Which means her and the Mastermind should have been allies. But then why would the Mastermind kill her? Weren't they friends? Oh, That makes me sad knowing that. Yeah, that is too bad. In general, Mukuro is probably like the saddest character in game, anyway. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know her story, and yet you say, yeah, good job. Well, because I already feel the sadness. Why? Because, um, it's just sad. Is that? We didn't even get to, sad? we didn't even get to meet her. Uh, theoretically, yes, but practically, no. Oh. Uh, huh, it's gone. Mukro's body. It's not here? Well, there's a mark left. Doesn't look like I can examine that, though. There's still just four chickens left inside. Honestly, I'd be kind of terrified if I were more than- if there were more than that. Well, the only thing left to check is this, I guess. Maybe the body's inside the tool shed. I better check just to be sure. Didn't find anything even close to a dead body. But if it's not in here either, then it must be... I have no idea where. The corpus aren't the only thing I need to check in here, though. There's one other thing. That tarp. A tarp played a key role in another case, so... I better look into it. The killer used the tarp to keep the sprinklers from getting the body wet. Which means the killer might have had some clue left behind here. Huh? I didn't notice this before, but there's a small stamp on one corner of this tarp. It says Biolab. Then this originally came from the Biolab? Well, that's kind of suspicious. And you should go to the Biolab then? I was going to, but I ended up standing in front of here first. That's all I really need to check here. Okay, Biolab it is then. Raw. Oh, it's so blue in here. It's frozen. Oh. Well, here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold. It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so cold? Ah, so cold. Why is it so cold in here? That's the first thing I need to figure out. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. And on the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. But on the other side... Uh, hey, there's there's some tarps over here. There's a stack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of those things lately. There are icicles hanging from the monitor. Camera. Surprised the surveillance camera can work with how cold it is in here. Wait, is that really it? That can't be right. There's some over here. Hmm. I've seen something like this before. Oh, that's it. I've seen this kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. It's a fridge for storing dead bodies. 
Uh oh. Does this mean this bio lab is actually a morgue? I should probably take a closer look around. Um. What, the tarps again? I'm confused. What should I look at again? Hmm, only if some of the lights are on. Alright, the hand lights are off. Yeah, what do you want me to do about it? Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. Looks like an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternatives to standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. In addition to the germinical lamps, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Simply insert the cadaver and the blue light will let you know that the automated systems have activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for uh, optimum settings. With our system, anyone can keep a body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. In the unlikely event of a problem, the red light will activate and the alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel and we do offer an op optional laser upholstery of great package. This is the instruction manual for the fridge? Well, looking around, I think I get it. it seems clear to me now. It's some kind of makeshift morgue. Well, I already know what happened in here. What do you mean? I have a theory that, um... Uh, what's it, what's it called? Uh, Mukuru Ikusaba's body was in here. Probably. Okay, but what about the others? Hmm, that I'm not too sure. And about those lights by each slot. Looks like it's set up so that when a slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. Which would mean, inside each slot lit up in blue, another one of the victims is... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that where all the bodies have been? Apparently, I my mean, emotions take control else? right now. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died, and that's defeat the mastermind. And to do that, I have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other option. Well, hang on, how many of them are on? Oh, oh, oh no. Nine of them are on. Yep. Wow, that makes a Nine. lot. That makes a lot of sense. That's creepy. Imagine if we actually opened one of them. Yeah, I'd rather not. Why not? I don't want to see Why dead not? bodies. Why not? I do. Head I want to see room. how they look. Bio lab, I want, Monokuma door. I want to see. Veggie. What? I want to see how they look. Why? Why not? Why would you want to see that? Why not? What's so, what's so scary about that? I don't know. I don't want to see a frozen dead body. The Why area, not? The area is directly connected it, to Mufusa's death on the It's not scary. Video. It's not scary. Well, okay, if you say so. Okay, the dojo. Well, are the you scared? Yeah. Why? I don't want to look at bodies, bro. Why not? I'm not that brother. <laughs> you said I hate that word so Sorry. not much. Sorry, force a habit. And Toko's Just in here. Stop, then get rid of that habit. I hate it. Oh, Toko, so this is where you were. What do you want? Am I so disgusting what meets out of your sight? No, that's not it at all. I just thought maybe you found the clue. Well, I haven't. I didn't find anything but one single clue. Period since this place was related to the case, we could have, we would have to, to have something right. Mm, the Sakura fits her pretty well, I'd say. Why? I don't know, it looks nice. 
No, you're stupid. That's why. Aww. You fit into that file lab very much. Aww. You're gonna fit in the 10th slot. Sad Why are you sad now? Because you want to get rid of me. Uh, why, do, why do you think that? Because you want me to be a dead body. Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> I want to see. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know why I mean, you oh, want... I don't want, know why you want to see frozen bodies so badly. Because I want to see a frozen dead body. I want to see how they look like after the execution. What's so wrong with that? Mm, fine, you can see it. Why are you upset? Um, because I mean, personally, I wouldn't want to see a dead body. Why not? Because it's just, you know, creepy. It's not. I already seen them. It's not that creepy. Mm. Wait, mm. Anyways, I don't like this topic. Let's talk about something Why else. Why not? I like this topic. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I do. No. <laughs> Let's talk about it more. No. Yes, I'm not talk about it more. <laughs> No, I <laughs> No, I don't want to be stuck in a fridge. Yes, you will be. You will fill the sand spots. No way. I would brutally kill you too. So oh, even better. Yeah. Because I can. That's even better though. Don't you think? I don't know. Reggie, are you sad? Yes. Why? Because I'm dead. Okay, you're dead. Great, I can look at no. you. No! Sluggies. What do you mean, sluggies? Comfy, honey. Oh, I'm comfy, though. Reggie, what? are you dead? No. Then why you say you were dead earlier? Because honey says I am. Okay, you're dead then. No, I don't want to be. Okay, you're not dead. Good. Okay, you gonna stay with me? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm sorry, wait, you Can you forgive me? Yep. Oh, I hope so. I hope you feel better, okay? I do. What do you mean you do? How are you feeling better, Reggie? Snuggles. Snuggle? Yeah, good. You good? Be. You good? Mm -hmm. You okay? Okay. But there wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. Give it back. Give me back my precious time. <laughs> my precious time. Calm That's down, me. Toko. That's so me. Don't tell me to calm down. Do you have any idea what I'm going to right now? But everyone finds out, you're gonna call me useless. Good for nothing. Nobody's gonna say that. Master Wu. Uh, I'm not sure I can disagree with that. I don't want that. I'm sick of always being looked down on. Why won't anyone accept me? Oh, well, I don't think there are any clues here, so maybe I'm gonna get going. Are you sure there's no clues here? That target seems pretty far away. I'm always amazed to see what people can do with a bow and arrow. Nice. 80 money. See the armor's on display. It's extremely Japanese. What about the lockers? Have they improved? I wonder what unlocker is here. We found a clue in here, but it was just the mastermind's attempt to frame Kelko. Um, camera. Maybe I'll just bust it to hell for real. Cherry trees in full bloom. I can totally imagine soccer out here using this to train.
That's better than some freaky Monokuma TV show or something. Why is everything? I don't think there's any clues here, so yeah, I'm gonna get going. Well, that's everything then, right? Ding yep. dong! Hey, retards! You had a fun with your investigation now? Is everyone getting hired? Is your investigation coming along nicely? Well then, since you're giving it all your best, your generous headmaster will give you a little hint. <laughs> For those of you who are still interested, please make your way to the gym ASAP possible. What? Now he wants to give us a hint? It's, just, it's sus, there's no doubt about that, but this could be a trap. Even knowing that. He said to go to the gym, right? Fast travel, woo. Oh, hey, you weren't here the entire time. Oh, hey, hero. Eh, uh, Makoto, dude. Why'd you act so surprised? Uh, no reason. You heard Monokuma's announcement, right? Are you here to find out what he has to say? Uh, uh, I just did, actually. I'm on my way out. You already talked to him. What'd he say? Uh, listen, sorry, but... I, I gotta go, bang. Hero, wait! Ah, uh, there was no point in trying to stop him. He ran off like a frightened animal. Hero? It was like he's trying to avoid me. Something you're talking about with the notebook I found in the locker. Has he been hiding something this whole time? He's, uh, alri he's always suspicious. He's always a weirdo. Anyway, it's time to see what Monokuma has. Yay! And it's only you. It's only me. Yeah, I'm floppy. Hello, welcome, welcome, hello. Are you ready for your final hint? Well, it just so happens to be in this envelope on the ground in front of you. The envelope? This must be the envelope. <laughs> and just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. What? Don't worry, just get on with it. I'm not gonna help you at all, lol. Monokuma's cryptic words didn't make you feel any better, but I picked up the envelope and opened it. I took a potato chip and ate it. Did you shut up? What I found was a single photograph. Hey, yo! Featured a bunch of faces I recognized extremely well. Hey, look, look. It's, it's all of us. Look who. Oh, yeah, look at her. We have everybody here, uh, except for me, apparently. I'm not in this photo for some reason. Wait. Do you see that? What? Behind the arm? Oh yeah, it's Junko. Hmm. Featured a bunch of faces I recognize extremely well. It was everyone who'd come to Hope's Peak at the same time as me. Why does it look like they're they've already graduated? <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There are fifteen. Huh. That's making the one who took the picture the sixteen. Ah. Oh. So, you took the picture. Okay, that makes sense. Let's say. Wait, but... There's someone behind Sayaka. Why is I mean, it like... Behind. Why is it tilted 45 degrees? I have no idea. He's the only one I don't recognize. Wait, that's not true. I do recognize her. Yeah, Makoto, you dumb dumb. That's right. When Byaki and I were in the headmaster's room and we looked at that file. Uhu, Ikusaba? Damn, she looks even better than she does in that picture. Well, because it's low quality, dumbass. She actually yeah. is very, very... Yeah, I know. And this girl is... What? Why? Why is Mukuro here with everyone else? And even more than that, why am I not in it? <laughs> Just having everyone here pose like this is weird enough by itself. And we're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like this. Well, most of them are wearing matching uniforms. Some just don't wear them for some reason. Yeah. 
And now that I'm looking at it, it's not even everyone. I'm not in the picture. I'm the only one not there. The picture has all 15 st other students, but not me. But I guess that makes sense. After all, I don't even remember taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Sayaka, but the first time I met everyone else was when I arrived here at Hope's Peak Academy. So it's natural for me to not be in this picture, but what's definitely unnatural is that everyone else is in the picture. I thought everyone else was like me and didn't know each other until they got here. But if this picture is real... Oh, someone had to take a picture, so it's on how mean, each other she took it. Could it be? Everyone else and just me? Everyone here except me is... <laughs> how long are you gonna keep up this rambling soliloquy of yours, Hamlet? You're a kind of getting in the way staying in there, you know? So, I mean, get out. But... I told you, I'm not feeling any questions. What kind of mystery would this be if I gave you all the answers? Not be totally out of left field. Oh. Guess that means he's done talking. Damn it. Group photo. So in the end, all I found in the gym was even more confusion. And with that confusion in hand, I left the gym dejected. How does that count as a hint? It just made me even more confused. Is that what Monokuma was going for? Did he put together a fake photo just to confuse me? But it looks so real, so full of life. How could anyone fake that? Which would mean everyone but me. Maybe I should just ask everyone directly. That should clear all this up. No, I have to clear this up. Yeah, time to f you gotta figure out where everyone is first. Um, well, it looks like they're all in the kitchen. Oh, actually, just Hina's in the kitchen. That's still pretty helpful, though. I got to be this sick guitar solo this whole time. So this is where you've been hiding. Listen, I was hoping to talk to you. Makoto? Huh? Sorry, I'm gonna go. What? She ran out so fast, I didn't even have time to ask her to stop. You know, why? Why would you talk to me? Why won't they follow each other? Oh, okay. Uh, that's confusing. It still has an exclamation mark on it. Where the fuck is everybody? Uh... Hello? Wait, what room was that? The archive. So that would be, uh, in the library. Why do they go out of my way to go somewhere so obtuse? Oh, Byakuya! Listen, do you think we could talk? Byakuya? I have nothing to talk to you about. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Hey, Byakuya, wait! Ah, oh, but of course he didn't, he just walked away. What the hell? Why was he acting like that? Well, he was purposely trying to avoid me. Okay, uh, where to next? Hmm. Okay. We'll go there then. Biolab and the garden. I swear, this is like his favorite frickin' place at this point. <laughs> hey, hero. Eh. Uh... What's going on with you? Every time I see you, you freak out like that. Uh, nah, I... Nah... 
Uh, once again, he ran off like a terrified rabbit. Oh, what's wrong, Hero? I still wasn't able to talk to him about the notebook I'd found. It was like he was avoiding me. Like he was afraid of me. Why? Hmm, this is very sus. Why is everybody running away from me? Maybe because they think you're, you're the mastermind because you're not in the picture. But then why, why are they suddenly just now acting like that? Because they saw the hint. Oh. I decided to visit the bio lab one more time. The first thing I saw when I got there was her passed out again. Huh, Toko? Uh oh, Benji, look! Toko, I got what I wanted. Oh, you got your dead body. Toko, are you okay? Yay. No, no, she's not dead, is she? <laughs> oh. It's cold, it's super cold, it's so cold, I think I might catch a cold. If you take naps in a place like this, I'm sure you will. What? I want to sleep? Ah, oh, I must have been again. I meant you were standing there. Jay, I've been getting cold outside, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Oh, then what? Hot and bodies. Straight up. You desperate. Desperate? Uh, okay, yeah. so why did you pass out? I don't know. Last thing I remember was me waking up just now. What did you do to Miss Morel say? Oh, that's right. Your memory stops and starts each time you switch. Mingo Bazinga, we share some basic knowledge, but our memories are very much separate. Bazinga? What is she, Sheldon Cooper? I just shot, <laughs> shot, shot, enough. You done? Mm -hmm. I'm done saying like it's a bad thing, it's a blessing as far as I'm concerned. Because even if she forgets something, I fully remember. It's like full of it. Uh, no, it's more like half. Wow, that's apparently something in my book now. But all I want to know right now is, where's my little darling? Tell me now, or I slit your throat. I don't know. I'm sure Biak is around somewhere doing his own investigation. By himself? I assume so. I knew it. I totally knew it. I'm a total pro when it comes to its own thing, Master. Oh, I gotta hurry. I can't even imagine how lonely he must be right now. <laughs> oh, Toko shot off in her eerie laughter echoing behind her. Oh, I totally forgot to ask her about the picture. Well, there's no point asking Genocide Jack anyway. Besides, I have more important things to do right now. Why did Toko faint? There's gotta be some reason for it. Yeah, I don't know. How, how, about the, how about this fucking dead body over here? The fridge, it's open. But I'm sure they were all shut tight last time I was here. That must be why she passed out. Mm, Kyoko, I'm guessing. Right. She faints so easily. Kyoko! It's getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? I'm sorry if I made you worry. No, you don't have to apologize. Oh, listen, about this room. Oh yeah, it's... It's a morgue. Yeah. I suspected as much. And Toka must have looked inside the fridge to see what it was in there. Oh well, there you have it. You knew she'd fainted? I was on my way here. A genocide jack came running past me. I assumed she must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the real reason to came here. I imagine she came here to investigate unless she opened this lock there. That's when she saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. Why is everything gotta be so difficult with her? Anyway, we should close it up. No one to leave it behind you open like that. Yeah, good idea. Give me a hand with this. Jericho approached the fridge, hands outstretched. But suddenly she stopped. What's wrong? Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. 
Ah, huh? how come? Because Mukuro's body is in here. Oh, Mukuro's corpse? Her body's inside the fridge? Just like every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the classroom. The mastermind did it? Because they assumed we wouldn't be doing the class trial over again, I guess. You may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at the body. Oh, that's right. She didn't get a chance to check the body during the last investigation. I need to do my own examination with the corpse as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I got to find a clue this time. I'm going to grab the mastermind by the tail. If the mastermind even has one. Okay, so what should I do? Why don't you just wait over there? I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Hmm, just wait over there? That's it? Okay, where is over there? Uh, is this, is this all the same? Oh, oh wait, there, hang on, there was dialogue there. I thought it was just gonna be the same. <laughs> I see the blue light comes on when the thought is occupied. So when someone's in there, the blue light comes on. Looking around, the number of lights that are on, including Mukuro's, there's nine in all. Nine? Nine lights? Oh, okay. That was actually helpful. Oh, I looked more importantly. Okay. The tarps? I think I've seen a tarp like this somewhere before. Oh, it's the same as the one I found in the garden tool shed. I remember that tarp. It had a stamp on it that said Biolab. You know, like Biohazard. And that's the tarp that was used to help camouflage the murder in the garden. At some point, someone got it from the Biolab and took it over there. Nice. Okay, um... I guess we talk with Kyoko? I should ask Kyoko about that group photo. Finally, I can talk to someone reasonable. After all, she's in it too. Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but I want to talk to you about something. What is it? It's about that announcement Monokuma made earlier. You mean the one about that hint or something? I didn't talk take up him up on the offer. Huh, why not? For some reason he gives a hint at this point. Be too confused to confuse us to cloud our judgment. Oh, she's smart. I can solve this mystery on my own without whatever hints he may have to offer. That's a good point. I wish I could go back and do the same thing, but what's done is done, I guess. Staying here looking at her. I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? Did the mastermind forge that picture as a trap to confuse us? That's gotta be it. There's no other explanation. Okay, Michael, let me tell No, I think the photo is real. It's just, you know, it was taken before we lost our memories and everything. No, it's messed up. Oh. Because someone's face is covered anyway, suspiciously. Oh. Alrighty. Jeez, that was fast. Anyone can do group work if they go slow. In that spirit, I'll make my report brief. So, did you find anything? I paid careful attention to the wounds on the trace of blood, and it seems highly likely that the stomach wound and blow to the back of the head were inflicted after death. Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my findings. So that means neither of those are for the fatal injury, right? Then what was the fatal injury? Use the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with all the wounds, but these were at least several days old. The only other option is those other wounds, but the file said they were old. Why does it say they're old? 
Huh? All the Monica Raphael says is that they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the difference. Well, the difference is immense. I was hearing the imp impression they like give. You seem to be great in several days old was simply old. But that doesn't quite follow logically. All the ones it makes it sound like they've been there forever. Like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? But we all got the Monokuma file right after she was killed, right? So if the wounds were at least a few days old, there's no way they could have anything to do with it. Why the Mercury herself wasn't killed within the last few days? What? Certainly you can allow it as one of the many possibilities, can't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already see what's going on here. Wait, what do you mean? I already know what's happening. What's happening? Well... I've seen this exact same trope in another game that I've played. Well, not played, I've seen the game though. But Good job, Thomas. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, love. Basically, love, love. Mm -hmm. you're gonna listen to me, okay? Uh, I am listening to you. What do well, you mean? You're well, gonna good. listen to me? What is well, that supposed to mean? <laughs> so, Angie, why? What's thank up? You, what's up? You're gonna listen to me? <laughs> yeah. Upo, so possessive now. Mwah. No, I'm not gonna Pat, Pat. listen to you. Mwah. Good, good, hun. Hmm. So. Huh? Basically, uh, Mukuri Kusaba died more than a few days ago. I don't really know how the timeline of this works, but I want to say it's been at least like a week, maybe. So let's say hypothetically Mukuri Kusaba was killed about a week and a half ago or two weeks ago. After she died, Monokuma or the Mastermind dragged her body to the morgue. And the body was sitting in, you know, the refrigerator for a few days or like a few weeks or whatever. And then when we got to case five, the mastermind decided to take out her body out of the morgue. And because of the body being frozen for all that time, the body would still be really fresh. You know, I'm, you know, I'm going with this. Well, what did I freaking say, dum dum? Yeah, pumpkin. Yeah, dum dum. One of many. I guess it doesn't have supernatural powers. There is no way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible scenarios as he can. They envision this possibility without prejudice, but then bias. Is it only their logic and common sense? Then, as they investigate, they test what they find against each of these possibilities. Of course, me telling you this doesn't mean you'll be good at detective work. But beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep it in mind for the future. Nice. So, if there's anything else you'd like to know about the condition of the body, now's the time. Come to think of it, there was one thing. Earlier, when I was looking at Mukuro's profile, it listed her height and weight. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds. Vitals were 31 and 232. Did I get all that right? You remembered all that? They are indeed consistent with the corpse. So then... And don't forget about the Fenwick chart too. There's absolutely no mistake. Ah. Our victim in this case is the Dalmukuro Ikusaba. Oh, good. Nice little update there. Is that all you want to ask? Yeah, I think so. Then it looks like we have no further business with Mukuro's body. As we're going, it's kind of chilly in here. Oh wait, are we not going to put the body back? Don't you think it's kind of sad leaving it out like this? That? Did you forget? He was our enemy once. A part of the ultimate history. But she still got killed. She's still a victim. 
Have you ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sell? Well, yeah, but still. Hmm. You really are lying, if you know that. It's really quite up appalling. Well, she could have abandoned me, but she decided to help me instead. So for someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? I think we're, we've done all that we can do here. Back to a cyber investigation, yes. Ah, uh, hold on. I still have one more thing to do. Something I need to talk to Ko Kyoko about. I need to ask him about the pocketbook I found in the locker. If I don't do it now... Hey Kyoko, I did have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask. Go ahead then, I'll go with this. Have you really not seen your dad even once since you got here? What? What do you mean? Well, you know all those lockers on the second floor of the dorms? I do, yes. But to get into any of the lockers, you need a handbook of whoever the locker belongs to. Actually, I managed to get them open using that emergency handbook. The one I found in the hide mask inside the room. Well then obviously she wouldn't have been able to see what was in those lockers before then. So, did you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? I found a pocketbook. And after looking through it, I think it must be your pocketbook. Hmm. What makes you say that? Like I said, only the locker zone should be able to get into it, right? I can't imagine what book could belong to any of us. After all, we only got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is, there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. And if I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it in a locker? Everything you just said makes perfect sense, but there was something written inside. It was about the headmaster. About your father. <laughs> huh? Could that mean? That video is real too? Video? Akodo, I think everything is finally starting to fit together to reveal a co cohesive picture. Oh shit, I think that was a chapter one flashback just there. Remember how she said like she didn't want to talk about the video she saw? Yeah. Although I'm afraid that picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. What are you talking about? I need to go invest with those lockers right now. I need to confirm what you just said with my own two eyes. Oh, let me give you the headmaster's handbook. That way you can. That won't be necessary. If I'm right about this, I shall have any problem from the locker with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Your locker? If you watch this, it'll make sense. A DVD? And it says Class 78 Urgent Interviews. I found it in that hidden room after you left. I don't have time to explain exactly what I think it means, so just watch it and see for yourself. I think you realize it's not what it means. I don't understand why you found my pocket book in a place none of us have ever seen before. Nah, this makes sense right now. But I guess that means there's some important clue on the DVD. Yep, time to put the DVD inside the surveillance camera. Yes, bitch, you love. <laughs> Genius, bitch, you love. Of course. Surveillance camera is the answer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I mean, thank you. Oh, and now it's my turn. Do you have a second to listen to me ramble? Ramble? So as it turns out, the arrangements I, I, it I'd made didn't stick. What I mean is, I'm less and less true of everything, even my own feelings. Talking about your dad, right? I can never find the answers to the question I wanted to ask for the rest of my life. Well, because of the mastermind. 
But there is one thing I am sure of. When it comes to the mastermind, there is no room in my heart for forgiveness. I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is just one more reason to fall through on that. Kyoko's eyes burn with the fire of determination. The determination to beat the mastermind. It's strange to be confronted with his death and only feel this way. I couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. So why is it... Why does it bother me so much to know how he suffers? It's ridiculous. There's just no understanding it, I guess. She let a small laugh as she said it, but her smile was filled with sorrow. Uh, so that's it for my rambling. There's still much to do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, you're right. I'll keep this in mind. There's only ever one absolute truth. Whatever that truth is, justice or suffering. Whether it's the greatest truth or the worst. What do you mean? Even if the truth you have hope is filled with hopelessness, you still can't give up hope. Absolutely not, cause... Cause all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? Indeed. Sorry if was... that was strange. Anyways, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trail. Leaving behind that final farewell, Kyoko was gone. I better get going myself. I got that DVD from Kyoko. I should head to the AV room and check it out. Kyoko said something about a hopeless truth. But no matter what, hope, what happens, I won't lose hope. Even if it's the worst truth in the world, I can't afford to lose. Alright, I think the AV room is on the first floor. First floor. Third floor? Or first. First floor. Okay. Um, well, the fastest way I know it's how to get in, there I is... I think it's in the hallway. Not this... Yeah, this This, one. this is the fastest way I know how to get there. AV room would be... Right there. This, the boombox. Yay! What do you mean, yay? Boombox. You're so cute, you know that? Yay. Oh, what's up, look? Mwah. You put yeah there we go. There, there's the there's the video cam. Oh honey, that surveillance camera. The surveillance camera. Oh it has a DVD entrance? Yes B. Oh Ooh, nice, I got moon me. Oh honey! What's Click up? on the monitor in the middle. Screen, I think. The screen should work. Or this. Yeah, here. You should be able to play DVDs just fine. Well then, I better take a look. I took the DVD Kyoko gave me and put it in the player. It said that it was playing, but nothing appeared on screen. I stared into the black of the monitor. It must have only been a few seconds, but to me it felt like an eternity. And then all of a sudden, an image appeared. Sayaka? Took me by total surprise. I didn't see Saika in who knows how long. And there she was. Edgy, you be the mom. Okay, I wasn't sure who it was talking. Okay then, are you ready to begin? The voice I heard was of the man positioned on one side of the screen. It was the voice of oh, a middle aged man. It's the headmaster. He has the same hair. Ah. I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got <laughs> the hang of taking notes while having conversation. Ah, oh, so slow. slow. Like you. I'm the head. I'm, so I, slow. I'm the headmaster confirmed. Oh come on, dum dum! You're such a ball, fluffy <laughs> ball. Hey. Come on, this guy is in you. Sound like he was make trying to make a mind. joke, but Saiga's tense face didn't move a single millimeter. She just like stares into your soul. Yeah. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys, it's more like insurance, so please don't worry too much. 
Now then, hmm. let me get straight to the point. There's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? You want me to accept that? Psycho is obviously at a total loss. Made total sense. Who would agree to spending the rest of your life in this school? I accept. What? Thank you. I'm sorry all about this. Well, I can promise you I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. As a on Q, that's where the video got cut up got cut out. Hmm, there's a lot I didn't understand on top of now. But this, only this. I simply couldn't comprehend what I had heard. Cause I know how much Saika wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. Well, just think about this. Mm. Logically, the war that happened one year ago was like the cause of him suggesting they should stay in this school as some kind of, you know, safe space. Mm -hmm. And she agreed, but then they lost their memories, everyone, and oh. they forgot about the event that happened one year ago and they want to escape, not knowing what's outside. Yeah, true, that makes sense. Yeah, that's what happened. She wanted that so bad. You. She tried to frame me for murder. So why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat there thinking about it, I noticed a sudden light. On the monitor, the video that I thought was finished flashed back on screen. My eyes darted back to the screen. And if I was confused before, what I saw next pushing right over the edge. It's me! Huh? Yeah. What I saw was me! Where did you come up? Impossibly. Undeniably. Me! Where did you come up? So, Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yeah? Me and the Headmaster were looking at each other. Well, it's more like he's looking directly into my soul and the Headmaster's looking at him, but sure. I just... <laughs> He and I were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. But I, the I in the here and now, had absolutely no memory of it. I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less sitting down to talk with him like this. Now, shall we get straight to the point? Makoto, there's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in this school. Can you accept that? Yes. This can't be real. I said, I said yes. I'm sorry to put you all through this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the way, at the very least, I can do for you. Once again, the video got cut out. From there, the video repeated the same scene again and again with the others. Byakia. Oh, Toko. Toko. Hina. Everyone. They all said they'd agree to live in this school forever. And then... Toko? Yoko. Her interview with him had been recorded just as clearly. Without a doubt, she had met him. She'd sat down with the headmaster of Host Peak Academy, her father. And when she asked her his question, she answered the same as everyone else. She accepted a life within the school. Just as Kyoko's interview was wrapping up, the monitor suddenly went black. Huh? It wasn't just the monitor, the DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Which of course meant the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the hell just happened? Oopsie, looks like it broke, out of service. Ah, uh, just so happened to break now? Now then, doesn't now then then uh, yeah, 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 it doesn't matter. Whatever. Honey. What? Now then, when does it matter? Failure can strike anywhere, anytime. That's what failure is, right? Wow. You're welcome. Thank you, hon. Failure, my ass. You cut the power on purpose. Well, whatever. Even if I watch the whole thing, it'd just be more of the same. He'd ask the question, they all say yes. I, 
couldn't help myself. I let out a huge, exasperated sigh. But as I did, I remembered something. I remember when we were in the trash can together. Convenient outcome. Something that seemed to obviously work in favor of the mastermind. So does that mean I've lost my memory too? What about the oh, others? Everyone did. Have we all forgotten? Or obviously. Interview if they update. don't remember that, then they lost their memory. Hey dumbasses! For anything that has a start, there has to be an end. And if the end comes, that means it's time for a fresh start. There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black, there's no storm that won't eventually end. Of course, then, that leads to drought. But as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. Which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again, because the end is only the beginning. Anyways, let's get started. The beginning of the end of the class trial. Everyone gather once again at you know where. <laughs> it's about to begin again. The class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The last time all our lives will be on the line. The last time hope and despair are on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay then. This is the end. Alright. Let's fucking do this. Obviously, we won't do it today. <laughs> Obviously, not today. <laughs> I guess I'm Obviously the first. I too. guess I'm first this time. You're early, Marco. Though. Does that mean you feel prepared? Yeah, for now at least. But where is everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? Don't worry, I'm sure they'll be here soon. No oh boy, we're gonna have a late class trial again. Just like she said. Byakia. Byakia? They arrived one after another. But they're all in the same state of shock. <laughs> Grr. Hina? Mm -hmm. Hero? Silence. And it wasn't any normal silence. It was the deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial. Oh, man. Ah, strong sound. That's just so wonderful. So cool, so hot. My loins are a blaze. No, listen. Everything will be just fine if you leave it to me. With my silly sharp scissors in hand, I'll stab on the gorge and unsheathe the master of evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little boys. If it's one master wants, it can be the boy, girl, or anything in between. I can handle it. Ay! Hmm, where am I? No human language can start this is a point where I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I love this line. This I, is the I, most iconic line. I recognize this line. Yeah. That's so funny. That, that is so me. <laughs> me. Me, Akrit. I remember seeing this like screenshot like so long ago. And seeing it again is just great. Wow. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> is everyone here? Ooh, and wearing our gloomy Gus faces, I see. Okay, well then, let's begin. The final class trial is going to be slaughtered in pitch black despair. Climb maximum sorrow. You're right. This is the final class trial, and this time it will be fair. What do you mean this time? Stop with all the slander. I'm in a I'm a bear in good standing, you know. If there was a Mr. Fair Guy Universe contest, I'd take home the tiara every year. I'm going to win this time. This game will be super fair and bare. And I'll make sure everyone watching at home knows. That despair is mightier than the hope. 
Enough of your tedious drivel. Begin the trial already. Sure, sure, let's begin the trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below, bitches. So don't try and run away. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing as loud as ever, Monokuma disappeared. <sighs> Whatever. This'll be over in no time. With an ex inexplicable confidence, Byakuya was the first one to be on the elevator. One by one, the others followed. An angry Hina and, ang mm. and confused hero. Mm. Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the elevator. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid, suspicious of each other. But you know why that is, don't you? Mm, yeah, I think so. Well, you can tell us about this song. I want to cast trial. You're right. I'm ready. Ready to win, right? Of course. I'm glad to hear you say that. And then Kyoko was aboard the elevator. Whoosh. Started making my way toward the opening. Step after step toward the gaping maw, I'd resolved that this would be the last time. I had repeated to myself that there were no fear and mysteries left. I pushed the anxiety down, calmed my trembling body, and finally on steady legs, I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. As empty as it usually is. <laughs> Without warning, it began to, to descend. Deeper and deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper still. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper it fell. I closed my eyes and sight fell away. All sound, too, disappeared. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later, I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to an end. I slowly opened my eyes. This is the final trial site? What do you think? Isn't it just the perfect background for deciding a person's fate? It's a long-awaited final stage. The always exciting final boss battle. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. Well then, let's begin! Yep. Guess we'll save. Okay, well, that'll be it for today's episode of Danganronpa. It looks like we were able to get the entirety of the investigation done in one sitting. So that's good. Yeah. I have a feeling the trial is gonna be very long. So maybe we, we should probably split it up into two sections. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that probably makes the most sense. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, surprisingly we only really, we only went for like two hours and 20 minutes. I, it felt longer than that, to be honest. Okay, dumb dumb, we can <laughs> Okay, okay, Kiri-han must be very tired, so... No, okay. no. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and to Twitch. Veggie. Yeah, to Veggie. And make sure to check out Cinnabon at Kafo on Instagram. And we're gonna do the final trial of Danganronpa next time. So, see everybody then. Bye. Bye.